Okay, so in this video, I want to go over uh, Build Alpha's input screen. Uh, so simply, you can either choose to uh, create long or short strategies. You cannot do it at the same time. However, you can combine long and short strategies um, that it finds in portfolio mode, which I will demonstrate in later videos. Um, symbol, pretty straightforward. We have a bunch of future symbols and a bunch of ETFs for now. Uh, Forex coming real soon, probably early 2017. Um, start and stop date for the testing, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, profit target, stop loss can be turned on by clicking in the box. And the multiples are multiples of the 20 period average true range. So this would be, uh, you want to take a profit at two and a half times the 20 period average true range. Um, and you can turn it off by clicking again. Uh, so highest high and lowest low are exits at the highest high and lowest low respectively of this period and you can adjust this any way you want um, or highlight and type and fitness function is essentially what build alpha will attempt to generate the best strategies for um, so this is what it's trying to optimize so net PL drawdown PL to drawdown ratio um, sharp ratio uh, average uh, dollars made per trade, winning percentage, and uh, CPC ratio. CPC ratio is simply the ratio of win-loss times profit factor times win percentage. Um, so max holding time, again, pretty straightforward. You can pick how many days or bars you'd like to hold a trade for. So this would basically exit after five bars no matter what. Profitable closes, uh, let's say we set this to two, it will exit after we've had two profitable closes since our entry. Uh, here's a simple example. If we buy this bar with the blue arrow underneath, this is our first profitable close, second profitable close, which would trigger an exit. Okay, uh, in sample, out of sample, minimum number of trades and out of sample percent. Uh, so a quick photo I found online. So an in sample, um, the in sample data is what we will train on and then we will leave some of the data unseen to then test the out of sample. That is the general idea. So essentially you can require uh, build alpha to have a certain number of trades in both the in sample white period and the out of sample blue period. Um, and you can also adjust the size of the blue period by adjusting the out of sample percent. So currently at 30%, let's say we had 10 years of data, it would leave the last three years for out of sample testing. Selecting signals is quite easy. Uh, this will always be selected to check that the close is not equal to zero. Um, you just select them like this. You can see all the open, high, low, close. Um, we have, and then obviously the technical indicators. Uh, so to click multiple signals at once, you simply click on the name, hold down shift, click on the next one you would like to highlight, and it will highlight all in between. And then you can click on any one box, and I've just highlighted uh, 11 or 10 or so at the same time. Uh, you could clear your selection, or you could select 500 or 1000 at random. Uh, we currently offer over 2,000 signals, and it's an ever-growing list. Um, portfolio button obviously brings up your portfolio for the selected symbol. Um, so go, we'll get into that in later videos. And then simulate obviously runs the genetic algorithm that creates the strategies based on the signals you've selected and the exit criteria and test configurations um, you've also selected.